People ask me all the time, what can I actually do to fight climate change? And it's the right question, because the problem seems so big and we seem so small that it's hard to imagine there's anything we really can do. For years, environmental groups focused on individual actions, new light bulbs, different cars. Those changes are useful. The roof of my house is covered with solar panels. I can plug my car into them. I'm glad about that. It's environmentally sound. It saves me money. But I try not to fool myself into thinking that's really how we'll solve global warming. Because by this point, with the ice caps melting, we can't make the math of climate change work one person at a time. Instead, the biggest thing an individual can do is become a little less of an individual. Join together with others to form the kind of movements that can push for changes big enough to matter. Those changes fall into three broad categories. One is to push for 100% renewable energy in every town and city. And it's a push that's really working. Diverse cities from Atlanta to San Diego, from Salt Lake to Portland, have all announced they're going to go fully renewable. In fact, when the president pulled America out of the Paris Climate Accords, he said it was because he'd been elected to govern Pittsburgh, not Paris. That afternoon, the mayor of Pittsburgh announced that his city was going 100% renewable. Second is to keep carbon in the ground. Scientists have made it clear that at least 80% of known reserves of coal and oil and gas have to stay underground if we're to have any hope of meeting the climate goals the world has agreed on. That's why we fought so hard against things like the Keystone XL and Dakota Access Pipelines, or, or for a moratorium on new coal mines on public land. We win a lot of these fights around the world, and every time we put up a fight, we slow down the fossil fuel industry, giving the engineers another year or two to drop the price of clean energy even further. And third, we work to staunch the flow of money to the fossil fuel industry. Our biggest tool is called divestment, convincing cities, states, universities, foundations, corporations to sell the stock they hold in fossil fuel companies. This tactic, pioneered in the fight against apartheid, really works. New studies show it has focused attention on climate change and drained companies of some of the money they need for further exploration. New York City was the latest convert, divesting its $200 billion pension fund from fossil fuels and taking the total global commitment to nearly $7 trillion. These are big goals. We can only accomplish them through movements. That's why we join together all around the country and all across the planet.